and welcome to this session of Fortinet Live. I'm Peter Newton, Senior Director of Products and Solutions here at Fortinet, and I'm being joined by Robert Short, the VP of Strategic Services at Liquid, Liquid Networks. My apologies there. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Robert and Liquid Networks is one of the Fortinet's uh, partners that help bring the Fortinet solution to market. So he's graciously agreed to come and talk a little bit about that experience. So Robert, thank you very much for joining. And I'll go ahead and kick it off and, and ask quite honestly, you know, you've invested with your company a lot in the Fortinet solution. Can you share a little bit with uh, other partners about how that has affected your business and, and maybe why some of the reasons you've engaged so deeply with Fortinet? Sure, Peter. Um, when when Liquid started down this path, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago, uh, we were uh, in the carrier world. You know, we're very well known for helping people migrate different carrier services. And all of the carriers started coming out with their own variations of SD-WAN. Um, we, we evaluated several manufacturers and, and looked at the different capabilities of those. Um, and it was important to us to find a single manufacturer that we could standardize on, at least with our customers, that brought not only best of breed solutions from an SD-WAN capability, but also had the ability to protect them at the data center and all the other attack surfaces that they have in the organization. Uh, when we lo you know, looked through all of that list and, and my engineers especially uh, played around with everything, uh, there was really only one answer and that was Fortinet because of the, the way you guys have approached not only SD-WAN, but also security with the, the Fabric approach. And we certainly appreciate that. And, and we know that you know, we have many partners out there who have come to a similar conclusion, but not all of them have, have engaged quite so deeply with our partner program, which I know you guys have done. Uh, can you share a little bit about how that has gone, uh, You know what you see in our Engage Partner Program and the benefits that that's brought to your organization? Sure. Um, Peter, I think the biggest thing for us is in order to be an expert partner uh, with with, you know, somebody, whether it's Fortinet or any other manufacturer, obviously training is key. And so, you know, all of our engineers have been incentivized to uh, participate in the NSE trainings and specializations within those NSE trainings. Um, and, and obviously that translates to value for our mutual customers. Um, even though a lot of this stuff is learned on the battlefield or in the late hours, you know, working through a problem or trying to figure something out or, or whatever, um, having that base level of knowledge to draw from as you're doing troubleshooting, as you're doing configurations, as you're doing massive rollouts uh, within an enterprise, it only makes you more efficient. And again, uh, Liquid is, when we, when we looked at this from an overall solution perspective, efficiency was key to us because if we can't do it efficiently, we can't scale it. And I think that, you know, the partner program, uh, the Engage program um, from uh, uh, Fortinet has enabled us to be able to do that. Well, that's good to hear. We certainly have invested a lot in our training that we make available to all partners at no cost, uh, as well as to our customers at, at no cost uh, as well. Uh, however, beyond just the NSE training, there's also our specializations within the partner program, which Liquid Networks has also invested in. Can you talk a little bit about the specializations? Yeah, I mean, again, you know, we started with SD-WAN um, and then, you know, the ZTNA was probably uh, the biggest one for us that we're most excited about um, because for us, it, it is, it's not a solution. It's more of a a philosophy of how to approach your your environment, and it's all encompassing. You know, it 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 deals with everything from you know your attack services, which is endpoint detection and response. Um, you know, your your mail solution. Uh, so trying to eliminate those those attacks from coming inbound into your your mail uh, system. Um, just basic firewalls, you know, the the having the ability to sandbox and do all of that within the FortiGates is is a pretty you know pretty robust offering on the on the firewall side. Um, one of the things you know that we've been really excited about as of late is on the incident response side. You know, Fortinet has probably the world's leading uh, group in terms of called FortiGuard and having access to those folks through the incident response offering 
is is great. And you know, the 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 two factor authentication. So my point in that is is that the specializations are merely demonstrating that my team, and believe me, it's my engineers, I should put that out there right now, because if any of them sees this video and, and feels like I'm impersonating <laughs> that I've done any of this, uh, there'll be a lot of rage directed at me. Um, but the, the fact that my engineers have not only taken the trainings, not only gotten the specializations, but actually have deployed all of those solutions and more uh, from the Fortinet fabric at scale, um, to us, having the specialization in it was really just a badge of honor for the guys and girls that are doing the work. Have you been able to use the specializations as part of your customer outreach onboarding or, or uh, just in general uh, marketing of Liquid Networks opportunities to, uh, to demonstrate that, hey, you know about SD-WAN, you know how to do it, you know about ZTNA, you know how to do it? Has that oh, been a benefit? Absolutely. I mean, it certainly helps, uh, you know, when when you can show that, you know, not only can we talk the talk and we obviously have customer references to show that we can walk the walk, but when the manufacturer themselves through their own accredited program recognizes that you have that specialization, um, I think when you combine all three of those, it definitely makes a customer's buying decision easier and makes it more comfortable for them to make that decision quicker. Glad to hear that's that's helped you out there. Now, I'd like to actually revisit the the zero trust topic because that is a, a pretty important topic these days. A lot of people are talking about it. Um, but as you say, it's it's a big topic. It, it deals with a lot of different things. Um, do you have any advice for uh, partners who are looking to get more engaged in the zero trust story and discussion about you know what are the important things to keep in mind when looking at various uh, zero trust solutions? I mean, look, we start with the outside and work our way in, right? Uh, that's just our philosophy. Uh, the, it depends on the scenario, but just generally speaking, if somebody's not completely under duress, under attack, we go after the attack surfaces first uh, because that's that's the the biggest area um, that people can can get to. Uh, and frankly, you know, working with you guys, it's one of the easiest areas we can address and make them. Uh, at least somewhat secure before we start getting into the the more difficult and more challenging parts of the of the fabric or the i should say their security posture which sometimes doesn't even exist uh in a lot of organizations so when you start the discussion of zero trust in an order organization that may or may not even have a security posture defined it gets really broad so we try to talk to them about what can we do now what can we make the biggest impact with the least amount of human effort and brain power to get you uh, on that security path to get you one step closer to being a zero trust environment um, so we typically will start at the edge and work our way in out of your curiosity are you typically introducing the concept of zero trust uh, to your customers or are they coming to you saying hey i'm hearing about this security term can you help us uh make it real in our organization it's i think um both honestly i think that some people have heard the term they don't know if it's a product or a you know a theory or architecture for that matter um but on other accounts people are working and they do have uh, a strategy and they they understand the framework, which was what we believe it is really is a framework. Um, they understand the framework of zero trust and they are working their way toward it. So it's all the above. But I think to a lot of people, we're still doing a lot of educating on what it means. Uh, again, some people think it's an actual product, <laughs> you know, and, and we have to explain to them, no, it's a it's a framework and it encompasses multiple products and it's really an overarching philosophy around your security posture. So getting back to some of the um, training and certification that's available, uh, which are there any particular training and certifications that you would call out in the partner program as being particularly helpful and beneficial to growing your business? Um, Again, so not being an engineer, I can't speak to the specific ones above maybe one, two, and three. Uh, but I know for uh, being able to support customers, you need to at least have NSC4. Um, I think there are some requirements in your organ, you know, in order to be a part of the uh, 
the engaged program at an expert level anyway that you have to meet. So definitely focusing on the ones that are requirements for the engaged program. Um, but beyond that, you know, looking at the, again, the products, like I mentioned to you, that are part of the, the ZTNA, uh, uh, not, what's the word I'm looking for again? I used it a second ago. I can't remember the word. Um, the idea of ZTNA, um, you know, the specializations in Fortimail and some of those types of things that are more product specific within the NSC trainings. That makes sense. And outside of the training, are there any other areas of the Engage program that you'd want to call to mind to partners who are considering it? I mean, look, it's it, with any partner program, it's about the people, it's about the trust, it's about relationships, it's about everybody's ability to deliver. And so far, the team that we've worked with, uh, you know, at all levels of Fortinet, honestly, um, have been very partner friendly. Uh, they have been uh, very honest and open, uh, very transparent, easy to work with. So I think as a whole, the program is very strong. And uh, it really, again, just depends on how much you as a partner want to invest in it. And uh, I think you'll get what you put in. Well, Robert, on. it's been a pleasure talking with you. And, and actually, we got to you know even meet face to face recently at the yeah. Fortinet Accelerate event. So it was great to mm -hmm. see you again uh, online. And I appreciate your, your comments about our, our program. Um, as you know, we are and always will be 100 percent channel. So we absolutely do require uh, rely on our partners uh, to do our business. So thank you very much for spending time today. For those I in the audience. Thank you for joining us. If you want to get more information about our Engage program, we have a series of blogs uh, and articles. And so I do recommend looking for those uh, and you can learn more about the Fortinet specializations. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.